Jesuit kids are pretty cool, but they really don't know what goes down in our school. Now T A E is the place to be with A D D and O C D. Don't stop there. We got a little more to show. We got dyslexia, Asperger's, even got Tourette's syndrome. Oh yeah. There are teachers here that teach very well, very generous, very patient now, isn't that so? We got Pete McGuire running this place, Nike you piece of he's running a race. T-A-E, T-A-E, T-A-E is the place to be, T-A-E, T-A-E, T-A-E is the place to be. I'm going to come up with a couple of categories for these things. We have to identify states, and we are identifying some of these as union states, some of them as uh, Confederate states. So we're going to call the union states are going to be red. Um, we're going to have the border. Edison for the last eight years has been amazing. I've had uh, great opportunities to teach not only world history and U.S. history, but also economics and government. To be able to know students, to see them as freshmen and have them back in my class again when they are so grown up as juniors uh, is, is a really rewarding part of teaching. I have enjoyed being part of Edison's larger community as the leader of student council and helping uh, sophomores, juniors, and seniors run the big events we uh, hold. Things like the food drive, can you chill, may you chill. Um, and all sorts of other fun things from weekly big group to uh, deciding what should go on each student's birthday poster. Nice. And like the, so that's where, this is where it gets into like the... Um... Being able to have Jesuit students in some of my classes is a fun opportunity to mix up who is in the class, give students a chance to work with uh, different individuals, and uh, be able to share their opinions and ideas between the two communities. Jesuit was an amazing and hugely important part of my uh, adolescence. Uh, starting off as a freshman, I had very few people who I knew, and it was amazing how quickly the community uh, drew me in. Uh, being able to participate in academics and all sorts of extracurriculars, in particular tech theater, made me feel like Jesuit was a home. Um, I was really fortunate to also be able to share Jesuit with my siblings, uh, with my father, and have that tradition both uh, academic, social, and religious as part of our family and community uh, has been important to me. T-A-E, T-A-E, T-A-E is the place to be. T-A-E, T-A-E, T-A-E is the place to be. Even got our English teachers on our disgrace. They all use proper grammar in this place. Even got a counselor to all ears to help us with the struggles and to calm our fears. Donna Conley teaching their stuff too. History and economy are so cool. Learning about the world is so right, even though it may not be all that tight. T A E T A E T A E is the place to be. T A E T A E T A E is the place to be. T A E T A E T A E is the place to be. T A E T A E T A E is the place to be. Back then, I think in the early 70s, sort of the the. Middle Ages, a, a young Jesuit volunteer by the name of Pat McGuire showed up, as well as an amazing woman named Jocelyn Tuthill, who became the, one of the long-serving principals, executive directors of Edison, and then she, she was, Jocelyn was ultimately succeeded by Mr. McGuire, whom I've known for a long time. Um, and he has been at Edison on and off for well over 30 years, and it's really a, a foundation of the school. So Pat could tell you, and probably has already, a bit more about how they went from one, what he calls trailers, what I would call a portable classroom, to two, to in the early 90s when Jesuit was preparing to go co-ed and building new buildings to, as the student body was expanding. For example, what became Arupe, um, Jesuit through Father Hayes as president, uh, lent Edison the land and they built the building that they're in now. And again, I've been here 22 years, so this foundation was already well set, but I had uh, sort of a front row seat because, first of all, I came as an English teacher and journalism teacher and had several Edison students in my classes, which um, was tremendous. Always, They always enriched the class. I was proud of Jesuit for welcoming those students. And I also had students who were taking classes at Edison. 
working with Jesuit students, I know literally hundreds of kids who would never have made it through Jesuit if they hadn't been able to take a class at Edison. Please raise your hand and tell me how many, uh, what is our country based on? What document is our country based on? Yes, sir. Declaration. No. Thank you. Constitution. Very good. Stand up. There are three requirements or be president. What, all three, please. All three. Um, you have to be 35. You have to be li uh, living in the U.S. for 14 years. And... Um, what kind of citizen? I have to be born. Born in the United States. Very good. Stand up. Yeah. Please give me, other than being born here, four other ways to become a U.S. citizen. Four other ways to become a U.S. citizen. Marriage. Keep going. Oh, all four? Please. Um, marriage, born, parent was born here, or there's another way to take the test. Very good. Stand up. Thank you very much. Please. Tell me, what is the, uh, that's a good question here. Please tell me, a typical president is male. We all know that. What is the typical religion of a president? Yes, sir. Protestant. Very good. What size state did it come from? What size state? Large. Large state. Very good. What's our heritage of a typical president? Heritage. Irish. What? Before that, it's? No. I don't know. You're on the right track on that one. British. British or? Irish. There we go. Both of you stand up pretty sure. My name is Pat McGuire and I've had, I've, and had the privilege of being the director of Edison High School for over the past 16 years, but before that I was the teacher and assistant director. So I'm, I'm very knowledgeable about our school, to say the least. One thing about Edison High School is it's a school for learning disabled or learning different students, a term we prefer, and we work well with all kids who want to be here and are willing to work hard and ask for help. It's an amazing program. Right now we have over approximately 90 students, student-teacher ratio about 9 to 1, and it's a small family, it's a community, very passionate and loving and caring teachers who care about all the kids. But the other second thing that was amazing about this school is our students have the amenities of the beautiful campus, our sister school, Jesuit High School. They not only can go to their library, lunchroom, cafeteria. They can do their clubs, sports, dances, including the prom, but also take classes at Jesuit High School. At Jesuit, they offer a lot of classes that we couldn't afford to provide for our students just because of their size and our small size. For example, um, anything above Algebra II, uh, foreign languages, things of that nature. It's just a real blessing to be on this campus. The foreign language we offer, which many of the students from Jesuit take, is American Sign Language. They also take some other classes, including math, English. But again, the Jesuit students can take classes here, as well as our students taking classes over there. So as we like to say, it's been a great win-win situation for the past 40 years. And we look forward to a long-term relationship well beyond the next 5, 10, 20, 30 years. Answer the talk, but without words, he's even gonna throw in a couple of verbs. Linda Johnson sits at the front desk and well, she's probably the best. All of us students at TAE get along well like a family. We come here every day of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, just moving our feet. Thursday and Friday, then is a break. Then we come back and life is great. Sides game towards the end of the song. We hope that y'all getting along. Now we all have learning disabilities. We're all still living in tranquility. No matter how hard and tough it seems, we'll live life and follow our dreams. T-A-E, T-A-E, T-A-E is the place to be. T-A-E, T-A-E, T-A-E is the place to be.